Hey, I'm Cam from DT, and this is the time I tasted a musty nipple. So this is the curious case of the musty nipple, and it all started in 2007 when I was living in Atlanta, and this was in the middle of the snap era. Y'all was snapping too. But before I get into the story, I gotta reveal how it started, and it all started with a phone call from Rome. Hello? Hey, hey. Yo, last night, so I was kicking it with this girl, and then I was sucking on the nipples, and then all of a sudden I got this underarm taste in my mouth. I was like, what's that? You ever tasted a musty nipple before? Nah, all my girls care about the well-being and the taste of their nips. You probably need to step up the caliber of women you're dealing with. Then he hung up. So around this time, I was dealing with this beautiful hood chick from the west side of Atlanta. And the key word is hood. And I ain't saying that like in a negative way or stereotypical way. I ain't saying like cause she had a weave or she had a fat ass or this and that. She got shot. Like really got shot by a straight bullet, but shot nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> Not only was she shot, she was shot with an AK-47. Not only was she shot by AK-47, she was shot in her butt. Oh, oh, Not only was she shot with an AK-47 in her butt, it caused nerve damage. Not only did she get shot with an AK-47 in her butt and got nerve damage, she had to wear a boot because of it, because it gave her drop foot. Now she got boot butt. Now she got boot butt. So um, this was a girl that I really was into, honestly. Like, she was beautiful inside out. Like, I think we, we clicked because we both got what we wanted from each other. We both listened to each other, listened to each other's dreams, all our ambitions. She was used to read me her poetry, and I think she, you know, confided in me because I never judged her, and she never judged me. Like, we had a beautiful relationship. I would describe it like, you know that scene in Jason Lyric when they all sitting by the water in the grass where they made love? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny about that? I'm for real, That's man. Right. Hey, let me, let me spit. Uh, get this shit off. Yo, chill. Yeah. It's all cool. Let me spit. Bring up Jason Lyrics in 95. That's how she made me feel, like it was 95. Happy 1995. On this night, she was coming over, so I'm preparing, you know, like all dudes do when they got a girl coming over later on. I'm cleaning now. I'm in the house cleaning. I'm showering. I'm singing, dancing the music. You know, I'm getting prepared for the night, you know. My, my little hood shouty coming over, you know, my little hood shouty. So when she finally comes, she's wearing a black leather bodysuit. I'm talking about she was looking bad in there. I'm talking about black, just all black. But one thing that I came to find out is that the material leather doesn't breathe. It's not like cotton, it don't breathe, it suffocates. So the next time you driving and you see those cows on the side of the road and you like, oh, them niggas suffocating. You need to go save them. So, <laughs> so I see her get off this train and you know, it's taking a while to, for her to get to me because you know, she limping. So you know, I just gotta be patient, so I'm just waiting. So we get in the room. She she asked me a, a question she never asked me before. We hung out plenty of times. She like, why you don't never come to where I'm at? Like, you you scared of the hood? Boy, stop. Nah, they shooting people in the butt out there. I ain't going out there. <laughs> what I'm gonna do out there? I need my butt. She would always tell me her tales about the hood and where she was growing up. And I was very intrigued by it. And then I, at that moment, I got why girls like thugs but y'all still stupid because you know you can't turn a thug into a house husband. So we in the bed, we doing our typical routine. She tell me about what she been working on, reading me her new poems. So eventually, you know, one thing led to another, we kissing now. And when I'm kissing, Emmanuel can contest to this. We like to explore the whole female body. Ain't that right? You got damn right. So now I'm kissing her and I'm working my way to her neck, you know, making my way downtown. But sometimes when you're driving downtown, you gotta make a pit stop. Areola Kovacet, you know, start doing donuts around the nipple with your tongue and, you know, get the business. So this time, you know, I've been to this neighborhood before, but something was different. It, 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 didn't, it didn't taste the same. The air was different in there. And I was like, 
It's a little sweaty. It's a, li a little musty and a little, little, little tart. Like the ocean? No, no, not like the ocean, like a uh, tart. <laughs> <laughs> and then the first thing that came to mind was wrong in that phone call. I'm like, I know there's some karma because I was an asshole. And I'm tasting it, but I didn't let her know because I fuck with her and we don't judge each other. So I went to the other nipple and that one tastes better. So I'm like, okay, okay. So, so it, you know, it may just be the left nipple today. I don't know. But I knew at that moment, I tasted the musty nipple and I didn't like it. Once she left the next morning, I didn't have a car at this time. So um, I'm watching her limp to the train station. As she looked back, I waved, put my hand up one more time like a proud dad. <laughs> And she goes off. I was like, damn, I got a call wrong. And I pick up the phone and I call him. Hello. And I was like, hey, wrong. Yeah. You remember that time when you was talking about a um, musty nipple? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happened to me last night. Oh. Sounds like you need to step up to caliber of your women. And then I just hung up. And that's the time I tasted a musty nipple in 2007. Have you tasted one since? I don't believe I have. I don't believe I have. You want to? All right, y'all, I want to show y'all what's cool about Bite, and they show you a treatment. So this is my teeth before I got my my aligners. You see over here, got a little issue, a little crookedness over there. So I'm going to show you by weeks. This is week two, and you start seeing the shifting. Watch the shifting that's going on. You see? So each tray is helping it align more and more. And that's just my first treatment that's on top so when i'm done it'll be much straighter than where it began so over here it's where it started and this is where it'll be towards the end so it's shifting in place so it's working it's cool highly recommend it hello everyone and i'm gonna tell you about the time that i almost got pegged during quarantine Ain't no light in my life cause I'm on the shade room Lost an hour out of my life scrolling in the shade room Had to throw my right bands, ain't the rays in the shade room yeah. I don't care cause it's lit in the shade room I'm sick of it man, I ain't had a haircut in weeks man I can't take it no more, I can't Put the clippers down man I can't man, I don't know what to do dog But I got somebody on the line that wanna talk to you man It's your mom, she loves you man and she just won't call the situation down. Man, get! Quit the foolishness, man! I done saw my boy in the world of the day. I don't worry about your hair like I did. COVID-19 and Corona. Man, get off the phone now! Get off the phone now and do it! Huh?